What's cracking, soldiers? Manla here at the Man Cave. Just finished up a nice old school bodybuilding, hypertrophy based, repetitive effort upper day, and uh, I got a nice pump, feeling swole, feeling good. Now, about repetitive days, and um, I gotta address this because this is something I address at every one of my seminars and I've already had to address with all the people that have already started the swole system, it's that the number one goal for repetitive effort days is hypertrophy. And um, when you take into account that I preach and harp on proper form, it kind, of, um, it kind of contradicts what I might be saying with the repetitive effort days. Because if you notice in my clip that I'm gonna show later in this video, that my form kind of goes to shit at the end of my set. And um, like I said, it goes kind of counter to everything I preach about with proper form. But what you have to understand is that, you know, it's, it's not our number one goal with repetitive effort days. And this is what really separates us from the traditional West Side format that Louis Simmons catered to absolute perfection. And um, that's that our goal for repetitive effort days is number one, hypertrophy. And what you have to understand is this. If that's our number one goal, then you, you got to realize that your form is going to go to shit later on in the set. If, if you're not really worried about hypertrophy getting bigger, then completely scrap the repetitive effort. But if you're trying to get jacked, you know, put on a lot of muscle, then you have to focus on those hypertrophy based days that we address with the repetitive effort. So just know this form will go to shit. However, it's not, um, it's not for out. I mean, it's not without the purpose of, of building something in, in spite of that. So just know this, if you're trying to get jacked, you got to incorporate those repetitive effort days that will kind of lead your form to go to shit. However, it's going to build work capacity. It's going to get you jacked and it's ultimately not going to matter as much because let's face it with dynamic effort and max effort, you're going to be mastering your form and it's not like you're going to forget that. And uh, if you're just starting this, you're going to have to master your form regardless. So it might take a while for you to do that as well. So do this, incorporate those repetitive effort days, build that work capacity, get jacked because you can't flex bone and uh, just know form will go to shit but that's not a number one goal for repetitive effort days it's to get jacked so check out my uh check out what i did today and just realize form goes to shit in the later rounds if you don't want to get jacked scrap the repetitive effort if you do want to get jacked suck it up do repetitive effort days and just know that come max effort and dynamic effort days form has got to be on point have any questions about the swole system or any seminars I'm doing or the personal online coaching that I offer, contact me. Drop, click the link below. Let me know what you think if you have any questions, but click the link below. If you haven't gotten on the swole system, you gotta do it now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's never gonna come. Don't procrastinate, be an action taker. Kick ass, take names. Have a good night, soldiers. Mandler, out.